Hi guys, Jonathan Chan here with Jay Chan Golf at Cronin Park Golf Club in Essex and today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about how we're going to fix that awful overswing. So that's when you get your club and it's going far too far past parallel to where you just can't catch up with your golf swing. You're having too much arm length pretty much in your golf swing. We're going to talk about how we calm that down. We're going to talk about one, a great drill to do for that, in my opinion the best one. And two, we're going to talk about a thought you can have and it's quite an extreme thought but it really does and fixes this problem really nicely that you can apply out onto the golf course and be able to benefit from it straight away. So before we get into that, please make sure you like, you subscribe, and as well, comment down below on what you think of this video. Really leave them comments down there. So let's talk about overswing. So this is a really, really common problem with a lot of golfers. And this is one, quite a lot of us don't even know we're doing too much because only when we see our, our swing on film is when we're like, wow, that doesn't feel like I'm swinging that far. So where we'll see a lot of golfers up there, let's say swing way too far past parallel. They might be doing it for various reasons. I've got a video there talking about how to shorten your backswing properly. So this is like the real technical in-depth fit. If you want to watch that, I'll put a card up there for that. This is just about the, the, the basics of what we've got to do to stop this excessive arm length from this swing because we're going to suffer from inconsistent strikes. We're going to suffer, strangely enough, from a lack of distance, funnily enough how you're swinging more will actually get yourself so you're hitting the ball shorter, make you less efficient with strike. So ultimately, like we said before, arm length. We want to make sure our arms are swinging at an adequate amount. So we want our body to dictate more of this movement. We want more of a rotary movement. And when we've completed our rotation, our arms to stop. That's ideally what we want. We'll see with a lot of people, they'll be rotating, get a full turn, but they'll keep on going with their arms. Their arms don't know when to stop. And this is what we're gonna get into because if we ideally actually get to a backswing where our body turns fully and we stop with our arms there, you will see quite a lot of time, it's only gonna really get to about three quarters, maybe just past. So for a lot of golfers out there, that's gonna benefit them a massive amount. So how are we gonna do this? I mean, first of all, before we even get into the field, we're gonna do the drill straight away. This is gonna be a massive part of this learning phase for this here, guys, because Really, with a short and shortening your golf swing, it's a massive thing with feel versus real. Really, loads of times I'll be having a lesson and we're saying, even just to work on something, just try and do it half swing to start off with, make it nice and easy. And I'll tell someone half swing and they'll swing pretty much up to parallel at the top of their backswing. So we really have a massive disconnect on what the length of our golf swing is actually like and what it looks like on camera, massive disconnect. So we're gonna do a drill that gets us into that position straight away and that is with this alignment stick this is what i did in my previous video as well it's a brilliant brilliant drill for your swing length why it is because it targets exactly what we talked about that body turn see how i'm going to turn my body and really once i get full turn you can see how this stick stops my arm from moving as soon as i feel that contact with my left arm and that stick i want the arms to stop that's how we're just going to get up to the top of the backswing through a full turn. And as soon as we feel that, we're going to stop. It's going to feel like you're swinging really, really short. But that's kind of the goal for this. We want to make sure we're feeling like we're swinging a lot shorter than we are. Because in reality, we'll actually be swinging probably ideal length. So with this drill, all we're doing alignment stick underneath the right arm. We're swinging up, making sure we're having a nice full turn of the body. And we are keeping... Let's say we want this left arm not to our lead arm, not to shoot too much past after we hit this stick. So once we've hit the stick, we want it to stop moving. So we want to hit quite a few balls, just feeling there's quite a few little ones where we're just getting left arm to that stick, stop, and then we're going to go down. So as soon as we feel this stick touch our left arm, we want to start our downswing. So let's take full turn. So you can see there, only a little swing down there, only a really little one. So we want to hit a good number of balls doing that. So we're, we're making sure what's completing our backswing is our turn. As soon as our arms fit this stick, we want to stop those arms and start the downswing. Really good little drill there where we can just easily get this feel. But for a lot of you, just like we said, that's going to feel like you're swinging to about hip height. So this is an absolutely brilliant drill to get stuck in with if you struggle with overswing best one out there because it's a really hard part of the golf swing to have feedback and whenever we've got a problem in the golf swing we need feedback and that's why alignment sticks are great so that's what we want you to do for a lot of your practice when you're starting off with this that's going to be your range work so 
Now, what we're going to be doing, so that's, we know that's our range work, we're going to practice out on the range, fine. What happens when we get out on the golf course? That's different. So when we're out on the golf course, of course, we can't handle an alignment stick there. Of course, we're going to gain the feel and what it feels like swinging with that underneath our arm. That's going to be great, but other than that, we want to be having a thought that kind of replicates that position. So if really we put our mind to situations on the golf course where we physically have to swing shorter. So I'm not quite saying a shorter yardage. I'm saying if you're stuck underneath a tree. So let's say when you've got a branch right here and you're doing your practice swing, really trying to feel the length of swing to stay underneath that branch. Let's say this branch is shoulder height. And then when you actually go over to your shot, how many of you have done this where you hit that tree straight away and you're like, oh God, I felt like I was just swinging back as far as I was for the practice swing that was missing it. And then you've got to think, right, if this at shoulder length and I'm hitting that tree, I've got to almost feel like I'm swinging to knee height. And actually I'm just going to be swinging just short of tree height or that shoulder height. So really what we've got to do, we've got to extreme the feel, extreme the thought. Because we know if we are thinking, right, I just want to swing to about shoulder height with my hands there, missing that branch, I'm actually going to be hitting it in reality. So we, again, we want to imagine that's there, that branch is there. Just like in full swing, we really almost have to feel like an extreme thought of, I'm not really swinging my hands past my hips. In reality, they'll be getting up there fine. But if this was with that tree there, we'll probably be just swinging underneath that tree, which is exactly what we want. So again, if, again guys, if this is really your problem with overswing, we've got to extreme the feel the other way. So I always talk about on my channel, we want to extreme it the other way. So here, I'm literally going to be thinking of, I'm swinging to hip height my hands. Look how far up I'm actually going to swing that club without me even trying. Definitely higher than hip height, wouldn't it? And that's really, when we're out on the golf course, that's what we're going to be thinking if we want to replicate this shorter swing out on the golf course. We've got to be thinking, right, I know if I swing to hip height, I'm actually going to be swinging up to three quarters in my backswing where we want to. So if we could do that whilst rotating, we're still going to be getting the distance we're still going to be hitting a better, more consistent strike and we're going to be way better off for it. So if we go one more ball here, thinking, right, I want to be swinging to about hip height. So again, that's really going to help me with controlling my swing length because it's so feel versus real. So this is me out in the golf course. I want to swing to, let's say, shoulder width in reality or shoulder height. But to do that, I have to think of swinging to my hips. Good. So just like that, we'll just be thinking, right, I was only trying to stop my hands here, but in reality, they were getting up a lot higher. Feel versus real. We've got to extreme it, that feel, to actually get there in reality. Because if we're someone who does this, if we're someone who really struggles with overswinging, so this is going to help us, one, it's going to help us with our strike. That's really where we're going to have big gains here. Strike control is going to be really, really important. We're going to be hitting that center of the club face a lot more often. Because of that, because our strikes could be much more consistent, we could be hitting the ball further. And in general, we're not having wasted movement here. So we can really actually generate a decent amount of club head speed. You look at someone like your John Rahm, Tony Finau, where they swing it, they swing it here, but they're really efficient with that move. We can really learn to swing a golf club quite fast from that short position, nice, compact and under control. So really guys, if this is your problem, two step process, stick underneath your arm, that's your range work. That's really where you're gonna have this baseline feel in there, where you're gonna draw that and bring that feel out when you're swinging normally. But if you're out in the golf course, you wanna be thinking, right, I know I want my hand shoulder height, but I'm gonna to have to think of swinging to my hips in reality, get to shoulder height. So guys, really get working on that. If you struggle with your overswing, really nice, clear in detail way of getting this really nice and simple too. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, please press that like, subscribe, hit that bell button too, so you're notified every time I put out a video. And as well, leave them comments down there. Tell me what you think about the video. Tell me if you found that helpful. And if you've got some practice out there, then come back and tell me how that practice has gone. That would be really helpful information to know. As well, if you want a topic covered down the line, again, leave those down in the comments. One of my video previously was from a comment that was left down there a few videos ago, so I will be covering it very soon. So guys, you want to shorten your swing, you want to do it properly, get practicing on these two drills and you'll be doing it in no time.